Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 32, and this is war number four, and we're going up against an alliance that I cannot pronounce their name. I am so sorry, I can't even pronounce their uh, tag. Uh, but in any case, let's go ahead and take a look at the defenders here. I take path three in sections one and two. Uh, looks like we have a cable on the first node, no one on that second node, and then we have a spider ham. Uh, ooh, I, I don't like fighting him either. Um, as the mini, we've got a Dr. Doom down there in the middle. Let's see, we've got Apocalypse. Okay, we got a Colossus. Warlock and Symbiote Supreme. Who we got as a boss? Woo. All right, so we got Magneto as the boss. Uh, we have a weapon X. Ugh. That can be annoying. All right, so I might bring Hercules in uh to this fight and i actually might bring my five star in rather than the six star the five star is sig 200 so in case of a uh, mishap he'll last longer uh in his immortality state so i might bring hercules should be able to handle both of those fights there ah looks like somebody's already taking uh that doom uh, I'll bring Spider-Man 2099 for possible boss action. I don't know yet if I'll have any uh, boss action. And I can take out that um, Apocalypse if they leave him to me. So if I wake up in the morning and he's still there and I got energy, I'll fight him with Spider-Man 2099. Colossus, I'm bringing in... Uh, my Black Widow Clairvoyant. She should be able to handle both of these. Uh, as far as that second mini, I'm not going to have Warlock with me, so I probably will leave that one alone. Uh, if worse comes to worse, I might be able to take him with Hercules. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but anyway, that's the plan. I fought Magneto once during uh, off-season with Spider-Man 2099. And the strategy is to, first of all, get to a special three. However I can, get to a special three, fire the special three off, puts on a very, very long slow, and then I just bait out heavies and intercept. That's pretty much the strategy there. So we'll see if I get to employ that strategy. All right, that's the plan. Let's uh, get on with the fighting. All right, we are back. And I'm going in with this team here. Anytime I bring in Spider-Man 2099, you know I'm eyeballing that boss, okay? Um, we didn't get a chance to fight the boss this war though. Uh, but I did bring in Black Widow Clairvoyant and Hercules to smack down folks on my path. All right, now this first fight, we don't always get to fight someone on this node. It's a fairly straightforward and uh, easy node. And it is Cable, so you don't want to bleed him if you can help it. Uh, but Hercules, not a problem uh, fighting Cable. I remember having so much trouble fighting Cable when I would use Blade because, of course, I would want to parry, bleed, get a D-Gen on me. All right, but Hercules, basically parry, heavy, build up the uh, feats. I do want to get an intercept in here uh, so that I can persist that one. All right, uh, and I want to show you guys something here. Um, can't remember if I did it in this fight. No, I'm, uh, well, I might have. I might still have. Let's see. 
I, I bait out his special two because I don't want to accidentally push him to a special three. Uh, but here, there. Okay, do you see that move? Now, that move is one that I do very often. However, in that case, I didn't uh, let the opponent have um, any power. They didn't have any power when I did that move. That's important. Um, in the next war, after this one, you're going to see why I mentioned that in this uh, video here. Uh, there's a fight and there's an issue that I have seen quite often. Uh, not just in Alliance War, but in Arena, in Alliance Quest, with that particular move when the opponent has power. When they have enough for a special. All right, so watch this fight. This fight is why I bring Hercules and why I feel safer with Hercules. Now, I do not like fighting uh, Spider-Ham, but I'm like, okay, you know, we should be good. Parry, heavy, and then he resisted my heavy attack. I'm like, okay, that threw me off. See why I put in a, a invulnerability boost? But keep watching. All right, so I'm just like, all right, let's let's get this guy down. All right, so here we go. I got a special two. All right, I wanted to get that special intercept. Boom, but he purified it, got a regen. Okay, but look at this, look at this. All that damage, all that damage. Almost got caught there, no problem. All right, boom, boom, boom. And everything is looking good, right? He got that spider sense, okay? And so I'm like, all right, he's got 6%, 5% health down. All right, all right, I got a special two. He's unblockable, oh my goodness, boom. That would have been it for somebody else. At that low of a health. And look at this, he's still alive. He's still alive, finally got him. I was like, what in the world is going on? He suddenly got tanky. This is Hercules. Hercules was hitting him hard. And all I wanted to do at the end, finish him off with a special, almost got messed up. Well, Hercules did get messed up, but he survived still. That's why I like Hercules. That, if it was somebody else, that would have just been a death. But Hercules has that safety net, so I love it. All right, so... Went to bed, woke back up, and we're on to the section two. And Colossus, as I've mentioned many times before, he's a very popular defender on this node. And he is a good defender on this node. I just happen to have what I consider to be the perfect counter uh, for Colossus on this node. Black Widow Clairvoyant. I have never lost. Uh, against Colossus with Black Widow Clairvoyant on this node. So, you know, we strip away his armors very easily, give him buff immunity, and we just rip him apart. It's just a, a unfair matchup for Colossus. It really is. But I love it. There are others. Uh, someone mentioned uh, Nebula is a good uh, option for this particular uh, node. Uh, I, of course, prefer Black Widow Clairvoyant. She my baby. All right, so Colossus went down. Now we've got Warlock. And I actually could take this Warlock with Black Widow Clairvoyant or Hercules. Now, Hercules was hurt. I could have not spent this, you know, health potion here but I wanted to fight with Hercules. That's it. Claire could have done the fight. I wouldn't have needed to use an item, but I like Hercules. So I gave him a few health potions and we we're in it. Okay. Parry heavy. Uh, got a feat. Uh, if you time it right, you can parry, wait long enough, and you can get two feats out of it. I usually don't, but... It is possible. And then this one here, intercept, you get another, and you get all of those precision buffs. Now look at the damage now. 
All right, he got three precision buffs. And he is just killing it. Now, don't just watch the yellow numbers. Look at the red numbers. That's what you want to see. Look at the yellow numbers and the red numbers. Hercules be putting in that work. He actually does a lot of damage. So uh, don't just look at the yellow or the white numbers. Look at the red numbers as well. And you'll see the damage he's actually doing. All right, so that was it uh, for the fighting for me for this war. Uh, I went down here, and I, like I said, I was eyeballing that boss. But I didn't feel like I had good options for either one of those two fights. So I waited, but they took down the boss. All right, so we'll be back, and you'll find out how this war ended. back and as you can see we won this war it was an extremely close war well fought on both sides we won by i think one death very close war um so that's gonna do it guys thank you all for watching feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video leave a comment let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day